Another thing you've managed to do incredibly well everywhere you've been is to get that buy-in, but also I guess in, in achieving the buy-in in a dressing room is to make difficult decisions when, when needed. How tough is that here, just given, you know, I guess a, a big squad, difficult seasons past, and knowing that you've got to make those decisions quickly, you know, getting that buy-in seems like it's, you know, at least half of the journey to start with. It's it's the same, mate. It's not any more difficult. I think you, you can make it more difficult for sure. You can try and rationalise it to say that, well, you know, I've never believed that I've had to change my approach wherever I've been. You know, I, you know what worked for me when I was manager of South Melbourne, Hallis in 97, 98 to win a, you know, the championship there, those values are still there today. And I think they're, they're there's no reason to, to, to leave that at the door because you're embarking on something that some people think is somehow bigger or better because as i said every step up or perceived step up means that you're also working with comparable resources there yeah? so and not always the most like when i was in japan yokohama we would we were we were by far probably mid-table in terms of you know player spend and everything like that but we were still competitive in that league i knew that so yeah coming to tottenham yes of course this is the most challenging league in the world the best teams in the world you know are in this competition but i've got some pretty good squad here you know i've got a massive football club behind me resources so the challenge is still the same it's about staying true to the stuff i believe will get a success